Next, let's talk about semantic errors. So this is where the program will run fine and produce an output, but it's probably not what you expect. We want to double check the logic. And a tip is to add print statements to check that variables have the values that you expect. Rather than deleting the code, we can comment it out because chances are we need to put that code back in. Let's take a look at another example. If we have price equals 10 and we print price plus quote exclamation mark quote, what's going to happen if we run it? Well, we're going to get a type error that says unsupported operand types for plus, int, and stir. So that means that we cannot add an integer and a string together. So we will have to change that somehow. Let's take a look at another example. What about price equals high? Print price times buy. If we run that, we're going to get a type error because it'll say can't multiply sequence by non-int of type stir. So we're basically trying to multiply a string with a string, and that doesn't make any sense in Python. If we want to do multiplication on strings, we have to multiply it with an integer. What about here? What happens if we run this code? It's going to give an indentation error because it expects an indented block inside of the if statement. What about here? If we run this code, it'll give us an error as well because it'll say indentation error, unexpected indent. So in Python, indentation is very important. If we don't indent, we're going to run into issues. If we indent too much, we're also going to run into issues. So on the first line here, we cannot indent that. 